me again looking significantly uglier than the last time so hopefully now i can make myself go from a negative tree to like a normal tree so yes yeah, so i'm just gonna do a chatty kind of glam get ready with me today i'm ca tight captioning titling it glam but this is more natural makeup for me but i know if i call it natural makeup people are gonna be like so yeah just gonna go into it and i'm gonna answer a few questions just kind of I could get to know me I suppose but I have done up my eyebrows and just started to prime my eyes but can we just not talk about like my colour difference because that'll just be non-existent in a while don't worry but yeah so I kind of like watching chatty videos so I thought maybe it would be something that I could do then because I all I do is really talk I don't really do anything else with my life anyway so I could literally talk for Ireland so here we are read the question like a few questions now but I just have my hands busy so I can't really pick up my phone but yeah so nice little prime prime going on the eyeball okay. now um oh this is a nice one how long are you best friends with your friend um I'm assuming you mean Leah so it is literally my best friend ever we've actually we've known each other years so she was a year ahead of me in school and we were in the same school so like we always kind of knew of each other kind of thing and then we kind of had the same friend group for a while and then one night I was on a night out and she was there with her other friends I was with my other friends this is before we were close and yeah she just kind of not came up to me we came up to each other and we just realized oh my god you're nice you're fun since since then we were just best friends we've been best friends now probably about two years like she does have a different friend group and i do have a different friend group as well but what can i say what can i say i don't know what i'm on about here but yeah no her friends are so lovely like they're so so lovely but yeah don't mind me just cleaning my brushes probably should have done this before but um yeah me and leah are actually going on a night out in like two weeks or so and for pre-drinks what we're thinking is doing like a video like you know like a say it or shot a video so i'll be having that up on my instagram probably the day before so if anyone wants to get questions in for that want to see me and leah get very drunk if we don't want to say our answers to the questions yeah follow me on instagram mmacdx if you want to ask them questions i feel like i'm so rambly like i'm very sorry like i'm such a rambly person so yeah so I was about that. So was what are my favourite palettes? Um, so this one is my favourite at the moment. It is the Beauty Bay EYN palette. It's the 4545 now 42 colour bright matte. So you can get like a shimmer version as well, but I like the matte version. But now that I'm thinking about what I think I would kind of like the shimmer version. Favourite palette obviously is the Kaylee and So Sue palette. I use it, I'd say, nearly every day. But yes, I'll be using them too today, anyways. Yeah. Another one of the questions, I kind of like looked at them all before I started so like I wouldn't have to keep stopping, was what is my favourite workout wear? Um, workout wear. Sorry, I was distracted there. I really, really, really like Gymshark. I just think they're so like, like I know they are expensive but the quality of them is just something else. Like even the light pastel colours of leggings that I have uh, aren't see-through. So... I think you are kind of you're paying for the quality like but sports bra wise Nike is definitely my favorite or Nike sorry I know someone's gonna go out with me for saying that wrong but yeah so they're definitely my two favorites question that I that I that other people have asked well not other people one other person asked when are you going to Ibiza um I am going when am I going never remember it's either the 11th or the 13th of july and you will kill me for not knowing but yeah it's either the 11th or the 13th of july i am so excited like i really can't wait it's just, just be good to get a break in the sun like with my bestie she yeah you know we've never gone on holidays together but i think we're both quite similar so i think it'll be good like we won't like argue or anything because yeah well, mainly I never really argue. The only things we really argue about is <laughs> getting a taxi on a night home. A night home. 
Getting a taxi home from a night out is the one and only thing me and Leah will ever have a fight about. Not a fight, but like a full on argument. And then when we get into the taxi, it's like we've just forgotten about it, so it's grand. But yeah, we're a bit, we're both a bit, a little bit stubborn, so we both always think we're right, so. <laughs> so, someone else asked, I saw that you were posting about not being bloated lately. What is your secret? Um, Honestly, my secret is drinking water. I am telling you now because i do have a plan with andy nevin and um yeah so i owe it to his meal plan and drinking water because before i started with him i like i never drank water all i ever did is drink coke and like everyone who knows me knows that so when i sorry <laughs> when i started with him i just drank so much water well, especially now like i try to drink try to drink at least two liters a day now just so I know I'm getting in my water. So I genuinely think that's why I'm not bloated really anymore. Like at the end of the day. Like don't get me wrong. I still get bloated. Everyone gets bloated. So like. But it's not really something that you should be like. Oh my god I'm bloated. Because like it's a thing that happens to everyone. Like. I know there are some mean people out there. Who. Will see like. Right we're going to get deep. <laughs> like I know social media has like such a big effect on everyone. And like to be honest I really hate it like. But there's just so much pressure on everyone to like not everyone but just to look perfect like because i'm so paranoid after i put up my haul i was so paranoid that people would be like oh my god like she's bloated or she looks fatter than she does in her pictures and stuff but i feel like people need to remember that an instagram photo is one of like i'll just show you it's like one of 700 that i take I'll show you Dun, dun, dun. not even just me like i know it's everyone so this was a night out that i went on can you see this was a night out that i went on a while ago like that's how many pictures i will take until i get a good one like and i know my angles i know my like i know when to suck in i know when to tense and i have to arch the back to get you know that little bit of the booty so never ever compare i'm going off on a tangent here but never ever ever compare yourself to what you see on instagram social media and like that because like it's not really real like obviously it's real like it's my body and stuff but like i don't even know where i'm going to but on the other hand you'll have people being like oh she doesn't like love mean people you'll be like i don't even know where i'm going with this but yeah no you will get mean people being like Hopefully I can edit this so it's not rambly, but yeah, people will be like, oh my god, she's so bloated. Like, well, maybe they won't be, but that's just what I think. So I can understand why people wouldn't want to be bloated anyways. Maybe we should move on to a happier question next, because that one, <laughs> not a fan of that one now. I went off on a big tangent on that one. Right, question a little bit happier. <laughs> and hopefully I won't go off as a tangent. Uh, the question was, what do you do for a living? I actually... Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. That I work as a bridal consultant, and as I said earlier, it is a very strenuous physical job, like lifting dresses on and off of people. I know it doesn't sound hard, but it actually really is hard. It's really tiring, especially on a Saturday when there's a queue of like I don't know a lot of brides who all like want to be fitted. Like obviously we we do that, but it's honestly a bit of a struggle. And obviously my makeup always looks shit until the end, so no be judge. But yeah, but I'm also on a gap from college. I was doing science and maths, but when I go back, I want to do PE and biology teaching. Uh, I would settle for just science and maths teaching, but I just think I'd rather do like maths up until junior cert and not teach it and leave it because that's difficult. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I think PE and biology suits me better. So then I can teach like all sciences up until junior cert and then biology eat me brush biology until until for a leaving cert even though i hate school like i never went to school i did really really well on my exams but i didn't like go to school like i missed so many days i think i missed something like 120 days over fifth and sixth year like mad like i know my child's gonna like my child's gonna be absolutely bet into school like i'm well i suppose me man dad me man dad i'm not common my mum and dad did try be, like get me into school but I think they just, not that they gave up like because, I don't know because I, I was academic so, but I still don't know why I didn't like school. Oh my god another rambly question. I just, just wasn't for me, just didn't like school but I love college so, as now but yeah I think, 
don't know. I think if you hate school, you might like college. My dad always said to me, he was like, college is so different to school. Like, you might actually like it. Like, give it a chance and stuff. And I'm so glad I did because I really did. do love college. I'm like, actually cannot wait to go back. I'm so excited. Someone else said or asked, um, what is your favourite makeup trick? Um, I don't know. I do really like, this isn't even a trick, but... I wear MAC NC30 like shade so it matches like my tan but when I'm not tan I love the finish of the MAC anyway like the uh, Studio Fix Fluid is it? Is that what I use? I don't know. But I mix that with like a really really light foundation just so I can get the same kind of finish when I'm doing, doing when I'm not tanned. Well, I'm always tanned but like when my tan fades. So I think that's my favourite trick being able to like mix foundations and stuff. Good tricks. Just while I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, someone said, I like this question, no I don't, it's weird, no I do. How do you feel about online people? And by that I'm going to take it, sorry I keep slouching, by that I'm going to take it you mean like people who like, I don't know, do stuff online, like bloggers all that kind of stuff, like I'm so like for do what you want, like if you want to be a blogger, I'll support you. If you want to be a YouTuber, I'll support you. If you want to sell nudes, I will support you. Like, do whatever you want online. But my one biggest pet peeve is fake people. I just, I just cannot stand them. Like, I just, mm, sorry, you're getting a bit angry, but it's making my lashes to dry. But yeah, like, do you do you. Be a blogger, do whatever you want, but don't be ow 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 oh my god definitely karma for saying i don't like fake people that hurts so much but yeah no like don't like don't mm, i can't even think this isn't an example but this is just something why i think it was being fake like if you're going to be like oh yeah girl power like girls do what they want online mm -hmm. but then like you slate someone for doing what they want or being like i don't know being like supporting one girl and not another girl when that other girl has done nothing wrong on you like just to be honest, I do think that comes out of jealousy, like that kind of fakeness, I think that does come out of jealousy, so if someone's hating on you and you've actually never even probably met them in real life for doing what you want, it's because they're jealous because you're doing, you might not be doing great, but you're probably doing amazing for yourself and you probably look unreal doing it and they are just jealous. Sorry, I'm going on a little rant here, like, but now I sound a bit stuck up, I don't think anyone's jealous of me, I'm just putting that out there because like I'm literally boring and like 12 and yeah, no, I'm not 12 and 21 but you know what I mean, so yeah like, yeah no, if someone's, I don't even know where I'm going with this question but yeah. But then that question could also be like how do you feel about online people, like your online friends, like I have so many online friends that like I'd have never met in person but like they're like, you know, like they're like hype you up, like they'll comment on your selfies be like oh my god unreal or and just stuff like that like I love them people, like I love them girls like I feel like there's just like this little group and like we all just kind of like love each other, I just love it like I feel like when I make these videos I just get weirder and weirder like I start real calm, real normal and then I just get like I don't know, comfortable with the camera and just become a freak what would you do if you won the lotto? oh I like that one well, me and my mum are always talking about this I am actually going to win the lotto me and MZ in work, we've decided we're winning the lotto. But if I won, I don't think I'd tell anyone. I just think I'd, excuse me, oh my God, why am I so full of gas? I think I'd just continue my life as like normal and then like, sorry, I need to concentrate. Like I'd continue my life as normal, definitely, but, and I wouldn't tell anyone. So I'd keep working a job, but I think I'd cut my hours down obviously, cause I wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna work loads, but, I'd pay off my mum and dad's mortgage and then I think I'd go on like a mad shopping spree for like a week and then just not do it anymore because I don't want to try to stay as normal as possible like but I'd definitely get myself a pair of Louboutins there is this pair that I want so bad but I really cannot justify spending like how much are they like 850 or something like that euro euros euro that much money on one pair of shoes they're like a little pink court shoe oh my god they're so nice I love them so much but no, cannot justify that now. But yeah, let's play with the lighting. Is that bit better? No, I don't know. I actually do have clothes on, like I'm not naked. I'm just messing around with the camera now, sorry. That'll do. Don't 
Did I powder? No, I didn't. Um, yes, yeah, so another question that I got. Actually, I need to read this so I can say it right. Have you got any funny slash bitchy boy slash date slash friends horror stories? Uh, I think that just means like, have you got any like juicy stories? Yeah, I do actually have a lot of juicy stories. If you're on my fancy, you kind of know that already, but um. I'd never really talk about uh, past friends, bitchy friends, if I was a bitch to them, and like that. Like, if you're not my friend, I'm just not going to talk about you full stop, like, good or bad. Like, I'd never, sorry, I have a hair on my face. I'd never, like, like, I wouldn't just, like, I wouldn't bitch about someone if they weren't my friend anymore, because at, at a specific time, that person was one of my friends. Like, I'm not talking about anyone in particular, I'm just saying, like, if someone, sorry, if someone, I can't even see what I'm doing, I'm going to make a push on my top. If someone asked me about, say, someone I used to be friends with, I'd just be like, oh yeah, I'm sure they're grand, something like that, because, I don't know, you just shouldn't bitch about someone that was your friend at one point, like, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's not good, but, yeah, no, I would love to do story times, just because I do, <laughs> I don't know why, but, not that I have a wild life, but I just do think sometimes funny and strange things happen to me, but I know if I did story times, not that I'd lose friends, but I'd make people angry, because... It'd be pretty obvious who I'd be talking about on all the story times and stuff. And like I wouldn't want that for the person who the story times are about. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not, not nice. I wouldn't like it. Where the frick is my mirror? I wouldn't like it if someone had a story time up about me, so I'm, I don't know, boy story times I probably could put up because you don't really know who they were if you're like my close close friends. I don't know. I don't know. Oh I do actually have a drop my bronzer. I do actually have a funny one, so I used to be obsessed with this football player, like, in love with him, like, like, proper, like, marry me, we are having kids, getting married, the papers aren't signed, but yes, no, I used to be in love with him, oh, frick, I'm sick of dropping my bronzer, and he's about, sorry, I use about three bronzers as well, so, like, that's not judge, but yeah, so, obsessed with him, and then one day, this fella, slid into my DMs but it came up as a message request because because uh, he didn't follow me but he was verified and I was like oh alright so I had a little bit of creep on him but I didn't creep too hard like so obviously I didn't reply so he unsent the message and then a few months later do you know that time of the year when like new football teams happen and all the boys and lads and all got our new football teams yeah that time of the year happened and um yeah, so my football playing husband, who I'm obsessed with, in love with, posted a picture with this fella who DM'd me. Really sad I didn't reply to him because this is so terrible, but like, I could have, like, you know, spoke to him and then spoke to my future husband football player. Not that I condone using football players to get to other football players, I'd never actually do that, but just sad. I could have met him. We could have gotten married. Could have been in love for a sight, but nah. I sounded really stupid there when I was like, you know that time of the year, like football time of the year? I swear I can talk about football, like I can explain the offside rule. Took me a while, but I I know it now, like. I'm not going to explain it on YouTube, because I know if I explain it, someone's going to be like, that's not right. And I'm going to be like, I don't really care. It makes sense in my head, so. Okay, one time I was at the fella, and this is actually how I know it. We had a pizza, right, and then he explained the offside rule to me with, like, the meat on the pizza. So, that I think that's probably... That is how I know about the offside rule. That was years ago though, it was about two, three years ago now that I can explain the offside rule. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting rid of the double chin here. On to my second bronzer of the day. I don't contour, but I do heavily bronze. Like The first one I used was my MAC Give Me Sun. I feel like I should have shown you what I was using the whole way through this video. Where? But it's fine. Now I'm using my JLo Inglot Boogie Down Bronzer. I think there's three colours in this. I don't really know. This is Sun Kissed. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm honestly like... People often describe me as, you know, the dog out of Up. And it's like, you'll just be talking to you and be like, ooh, squirrel. It's like his brain just jumps from like, thing to thing to thing. Like my mum describes it as like, my brain never turns off. Which I agree. Anyway, yeah, another question was, who are your favourite YouTubers? I do have a lot of favourite YouTube... 
you know, YouTubers because I just spend most of my life on YouTube. So I really, 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 really love Tana Mojo. Like she is just like my life. I feel like that's a very controversial thing to say because like, hmm. A lot of people think mm, Tana Mojo, but I think mm, Tana Mojo, like love her. I also love Jamie Genevieve, love her so much. What a little queen. Um, oh my god, I never bronze in that order. Oh, why did I do that? I feel so uncomfortable now. But yeah, so Tana Mojo, Jamie Genevieve, Imagination. She's just so positive. I love her. Um, I like Lola Liner. She's so good. She's like, she's Irish, but I think she lives in like Canada or like. Australia or one of them I get Canada and Australia mixed up. I love her. She's like she does makeup. She's really really good Um, I have so many favorite youtubers. Why am I like mm. I love true crime. So I like Eleanor Neal. Oh my god I love Eleanor Neal. I just want to be her like friend. I feel like I Don't know. I just feel like me and her would have so much fun Oh my god while I'm on the top of having so much fun I freaking love Hannah Renee and Madison Sarah like oh my god I like Rachel Leary too but the two of them like they just remind me of me and Leah so much like I feel like I feel like I just need to be their friend like I just want to go on my out with them I just sorry my top's on them I just want to be their friend like I just want to go to Club Live with them like I don't even know what Club Live is but they're always there so why can't I go there like I just want to be their friend but yeah so I love them they're my faves. Um, I like Jordan Lipscomb too. She's good. Um, uh, another question I got was favourite people to follow on Instagram. So obviously I'm not going to name like off like famous celebrities that everyone loves to follow. But I do love Kaylee MUA. I should have probably said her in the YouTube section. But whenever. Uh, who else do I love to follow? Oh, the O'Donnell sisters. Mm, love them. Ellie and Daisy. They're just they're just something else. Uh, I can actually hear crickets in my head now. Like I love following people on Instagram. Like I just oh Tammy Hembro, Sean Walton. Like I just like fitness people as well. I follow a lot of fitness people. I don't really follow like fashion people as such. Like I will follow like fashion people if I know them, kind of just to support them. But I like I'm not really. It's not really something I'm into. So. I don't really follow them unless it's as I said someone who I want to support though then I definitely will um by Brickell I don't know if I said her but she's absolutely gorgeous like she is stunning um oh my god I love Chanel McCleary is that her name Chanel McCleary another girl who's like wow oh, I love her so much she just cracks me up like you need to follow her you need to follow her on Instagram she is so funny like just the video she posts like she does have me in stitches like she's just one of the funniest people ever um, and <laughs> honestly like if I again I just want to be her friend like I, I just want to be her best friend like I just I feel like she could out with me and my friend Emma so much like she just I feel like she'd just be one of us like um yeah so they're kind of my favorite people on Instagram why am I doing this with no mirror um but yeah no I follow so many people obviously I love to follow all my friends. Not that I have many. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm a bit of a, no, I'm not a loner, I just, nothing. Oh, I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with me here now, to be honest. Sunburned nose, learned that from Kaylee MUA. Didn't know I needed to do it in my life until I seen her, seen, until I saw her do it. So we can blame her if my nose is ever looking too rosy. Another fun question. What is, oh, my phone just had a little, little panic attack. What is your favourite food? I honestly need to stop being so weird. This is why I have about three friends. But anyway, I'm going to highlight my little face with this bad boy. I'm going to use this one. And this one. Yeah, my favourite food. Oh, well, I love Chinese. I love pizza. I love mirror again would be helpful i love anything with cheese so like i don't know if rocks with cheese i'm like other cheese sauce mm. or nachos with cheese or chicken wings or or hmm. hmm i think i just love all food oh chicken nuggets i love chicken nuggets 
chicken nuggets. Um, brownies, love brownies. And cheesecake, love cheesecake. I just got pink eyeshadow on my elbow. Uh, I think I just love all food, to be quite honest with you. There's nothing like, like hey hey. Except for mushrooms, I really hate mushrooms. I think that's probably the only food I dislike. Oh no, I can feel myself getting judged before I say this, but I really, really, really do not like it. I said that's where they do not. I really do not like Christmas dinner. Excuse me. Like Christmas dinner this year, all I had was a breast of turkey and a little bit of stuffing. Like I love stuffing. Like I'd eat stuffing every day of my life if I could. But hey ham, hey da. I hate roast beef. I hate roast pork hate roast, I just hate roast meats. Like I'll eat a roast chicken if I have to, like it's, if it's made I'll eat it, but like I'm never like, ooh I'm craving a roast chicken. I'm honestly so strange, I'm so sorry if anyone's even made it this far in the video. I love carbs, so like bread, pasta, pizza, anything kind of like that. So yeah, I just set my entire face with highlighter. I look really like orange on camera, like I look really like red toned, but I promise you in person I do not look like that, I look, I look nice, well not nice, but yeah I think that's me finished with my face, like I still have to like spray my spray and like do my lips and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not going out for a little while, so I'm just like, mm, I do my lips now, but then I'm like, no I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to see if I have any other questions. Just so nobody feels left out. Uh, not really. Like if a lot of people have like kind of asked the same questions as like other people. So, so yeah. So <coughs> I just died. So if you did make this far, thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and I don't know how you put up with me watching this long of a video because I'm actually so weird. Like I promise my next video or two will probably be shorter. Um, well maybe not if me and Leah play Sader shot it because that might go on all night long. Um, yeah, very thankful. I was actually so surprised after I put up my last video. Like I was surprised the amount of support I got. I was so happy. Like, I even had like, a little cry to myself and everything. Like I just, so weird that 60 people like subscribed to me. I know that's nothing but like 60 people. Like I'd just be sitting there on my laptop and then like people who like I know but don't talk to his name just pops up. I'm like oh that's nice. Like it's nice that like people actually care about what you're doing. Like, but yeah. So thanks again. This is gonna be like my last intro, and I said thanks about seventeen hundred million times. Hmm. Yeah, but thank you. So I am gonna leave it here now because otherwise I'm just gonna get carried away. Bye.